It's been 51 years since five United States Marines were killed in a helicopter crash during a NATO training exercise in Norway. About 22 years later, the Naval Academy ring belonging to the helicopter pilot was found at the crash site and sent to his daughter, who was a baby when it all happened. She has now made a documentary about the rare discovery and met with the families of others that died for a reunion tonight. Jalen Holloway has more. For Abby Pilger Barreto, making a documentary about the helicopter crash that killed her father and four of the United States Marines on the island of Grutia in Norway in 1972 wasn't planned. I mostly told people that my father died during Vietnam. Um, it just seemed easier uh, to to put a place and a name to it. Beretta was 15 months old when the crash happened during a North Atlantic Treaty Organization training exercise as her father, Lieutenant Henry Pilger, who was stationed at Camp Lejeune, was the pilot. Marine Sergeant Rocky Shaw says he and another sergeant were waiting for a helicopter to pick them up on that same day in Norway, but says it never came. All those years, I thought that helicopter is the one supposed to pick us up. Now, I can't ever prove that. 22 years after her father's death, Barreto says she had a special package waiting for her one day. I asked my mom what this is, and she says, that's your father's Naval Academy ring. It arrived for you today. Barreto says a hunter found it at the crash site between two rocks. It was in miraculously perfect condition with um, just no inclusions, which you can't imagine after 22 years. Despite the fine, Barreto says she sat the ring in a memory box for 28 years before she decided to make the documentary The Ring and the Mountain. On Monday, she held a squadron alumni reunion for HMLA 167 in Jacksonville with the families of the other four Marines killed in the crash for the first time ever. I thank God for Abby because she's a fireball. She took this ball and ran with it and, and uh, I was so thankful that I was able to help her find some of these family members and put this all together. You know, for us, none of us knew what happened to our loved one for 50 years. This was a lost story. It was a lost piece of history, um, but it is no longer. Reporting in Jacksonville, Jalen Holloway, WITN News. Barreto says an exclusive premiere of The Ring and the Mountain will be shown at the Camp Lejeune base on Wednesday.